Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Daycare Stories by Let Me Explain Studios. Now, I have not seen this, of course. I mean, if, you know, I wouldn't be a reaction channel if I already saw this video. But yeah, honestly, I don't really know going into this video. I don't really know what's going to happen. Personally, Let Me Explain Studios is alright. I think they make pretty good content when it comes to storytime animations. But at the same time, there are times where it, it can be boring. But... That's just my opinion. But anyways, original links in the description. Make sure you subscribe to Let Me Explain Studios and Social and Shippers Notes. Let's get right into it. Oh, hello, my geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers, my little oodle. That's actually well animated. There's actual color and backgrounds, and also her movements are animated. That's good. Probably not, because I've never mentioned it before. Makes sense, given that mom and dad were both working parents, and leaving one's infant at home alone is generally considered problematic now i know it might be hard to believe but i have oh why'd you detail the hair on the legs the maturity that you see before you today no no as a kid i was a bit of a rascal for example of course because the story has to be interesting guys and in this playroom there was a dark little alcove where custodial stuff and equipment was kept all the time and one morning during playtime i noticed someone had left a large box there big enough for a child to hide behind now there's a concept that I call behind or in and it's basically just a name for that randomness that kids possess or the absurdity that is their reasoning sometimes. For example, when I saw that box, that's when my kid logic kicked in and I said, I'm going to hide behind that box for as long as possible and see what happens. This is a great idea. So I mean, it's funny though. I Not a great idea, but it's funny. Crouch down, hiding myself entirely. I must have stayed there for half an hour before playtime ended, and they ushered all the kids away to a different room for a new activity. And funny enough, the adults were none the wiser I was gone. I've beat the system. Now this is what gets me. It took an hour the list. of me hiding before an adult came back to the room and visibly began looking around for something. Couldn't imagine what it might be. Now where did I leave that small child? Must be around here someplace. I peeked my head up over the edge of the box to watch, but that proved to be my undoing. I was spotted. I've been compromised. <laughs> I got snake. Yeah. Of snake. I snake. Snake. <laughs> not good at getting away with things when I was a kid, as you'll see in the next story. Now, one time at this daycare, they brought in a whiteboard, and you were only allowed to draw on it with adult supervision. Okay, I won't draw on the board. Instead, I stole a green dry erase marker when no one was looking and proceeded to decorate my face. Hey, listen, I didn't break the rules. They specifically said I mean, don't draw I kind of smart. They said nothing about my face. I put the marker back and walked away but was promptly spotted by an adult. Becca, did you do this to yourself? No. Did somebody do this to you? Yes. Who did it? Well, sheesh, I hadn't thought I had that far. And I honestly didn't even think to blame another kid. Instead, that good old kid logic kicked in, and I came up with the most foolproof story that was sure to get my hide out of trouble. I was minding my own business looking for something to play with. Okay, I like the, the I like the, like, marker. Yeah, I like this sort of stop motion. That's pretty good. Nailed it. I will never understand how that daycare works. It's not really stop motion, but you know what I mean. Like, real life, like, drawing on the board, and, like, that's how the story was animated. That's It's unique. It's unique. Whoa. I stuck gum up my nose. Something I haven't mentioned yet is that my sister, Rachel, also went to this daycare. And because she's two years older than me, she got to be in the big kids program called the Superstars. And I was so jealous that I took to calling them the Stupid Stars. Extra crispy on that burn there, little Becca. But one thing that will always be a significant memory to me is the day I discovered that the Superstars had a Nintendo. Better yet, they had Super Mario Brothers. And that, my little oodle-ollies, was the first time I ever saw a console video game. I thought I was looking at magic. And that became the only thing I ever wanted to do at playtime, was go over to the big kid area and watch them play Super Mario Brothers. Don't you dare tell me that gamers aren't real entertainers. I was watching people play video games like... <laughs> uh, okay, wonder who that is. Deep eyes of the world made it a thing. But when playtime was over, the day... Wonder who those guys are too. Yeah. me away, kicking and screaming from that TV set. One day, however, I came up with a brilliant idea. 
when they pulled me away from the big kids' corner and sat me down with the other little kids, I proceeded to scream and cry that I miss my big sister, and nothing was going to console me except being allowed to be with her in the big kid area. I guess the adults didn't know what else to do, so they actually let me go back over. Holy Crayola, that actually worked. Sure enough, I made a beeline for the Nintendo. Screw you, sis, I got video games to observe. It didn't take long for an adult to catch on, and I was eventually pulled away again. When I tried the same shtick, they gently said, Becca, you say you miss your sister, but every time you go over there, you just watch them play video games. Okay, maybe they had me there. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty solid accusation. By the way, these adults are looking really bland. I, I, they're just like, like stick figures colored in with different colors. Not stick figures, but you know what I mean. No. Now I've saved the best story for last. Even when I started kindergarten, there was no escaping this daycare. Because one of the services they provided was picking up children from my elementary school and taking them back to the daycare where the parents could pick them up later. Damn, so every what is that day, I didn't drive? get picked up by a parent or get on a normal yellow school bus. I waited for a big white van. That sounds rather nefarious now that I say it out loud. But yeah, Rachel and I would wait for the van, pile in with the other kids, and go wait to get picked up at the daycare. That sounds so weird, especially the way they animated it. Knew. She was a very good teacher and kept track of the way each of her students were supposed to go home. So she would make sure I got in that van. Well, I was getting a little bored of the routine. And here's good old kid logic again, because many of my classmates would get to walk home. Hey, Amphibia, is that the Amphibia? And Gravity Falls, holy crap. the cool thing to do. I aspired to walk home. But that wasn't going to happen with Miss Responsibility Pants botching my whole operation. So like the little devil I was, <laughs> I waited until we had a substitute teacher. Alright, here's your evil genius learner's permit, kiddo. When school ended that day, instead of getting into the daycare van, I hid behind a brick pillar and waited for the van to leave without me. Funny how my sister never said anything. She must have been like, all right, I guess she died. As soon as the van left, I headed off. Oh, <laughs> oh God, that's dark. It's only about a mile away. But I began to think as I walked that no one was actually going to be at the house and I had no way of getting inside. Probably should have thought of that before. So instead of walking home, I made the executive decision to walk to the daycare instead. Now, I knew, I knew what I was doing was against the rules, because every single time I saw a white vehicle of any sort coming in the distance, I would duck behind a tree or bush as fast as I could. When I was so close that I could see the daycare up ahead, I noticed what was most definitely a white van approaching, and the only tree immediately available was thinner than me. So not only was this tree already insufficient at hiding me, but when I jumped behind it, I didn't think to put the tree between me and the line of sight of the van. So when the daycare staff approached, this is what they saw. I'm revoking that evil genius learner's permit. They stopped the van, made me get inside, and guess who I found in the back seat? The snitch that ratted me out. My own sister. Oh, wow. How evil. Wow. Oh, my God. I'm. Oh, man. I feel so bad for her. It's not like this story is, you know, in the past and technically doesn't matter. I mean, honestly, my opinion on this video is that it's good. I think it's well done. Like, the animation is well done. I think the backgrounds are well colored. And I like that this video actually is colored, to be fair. Unlike a lot of the other animation, story time animation videos. I mean, sure, they're, they're getting there, but you know what I mean. I don't know. I, I'd say for the character designs, they were good, except for the adults. As I said earlier, they're just like, they're just, they're like blank people. Well, any other person is just not detailed. And I guess it makes sense because, like, you know, she probably doesn't have to, like, do every detail of a human. Like... And she probably doesn't remember them, so to be fair. But I just wanted to point that out, because it, it is it is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was okay. I'd say this video was alright. I think, I'd say just like, it's kind of what I expected from this. Just like, oh, devious stories, get it? You know, because like, that's interesting. The, the whole thing with kid logic, I don't know, I... I don't know. I think it's you though. I think that word is like reused too much to the point where it just gets old fast. 
Like, I get it, she's using it to explain something, but at the same time, it's like, uh, I don't, I, it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's a little overused, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, anyways, guys, enjoy the like video, subscribe to my channel, see you next one, bye!